allegedly, Drake has started his October today by unfollowing a few Instagram accounts. They include LeBron James, Playboy Carti, Kendrick Lamar, Damari Rosen, or Damari DeRozan, and Joe Budden. Finally, finally, Drake has stopped being nice, has stopped being the cool guy, has stopped being the unbothered guy, and did something that I personally don't like. I'm not going to lie. I'm not the biggest fan of men unfollowing people. I think it's a very unmanly G-A-Y thing to do. I think you should leave that shit to the birds. Men shouldn't be that bothered about follows or who unfollow. Like, it's not... You shouldn't be caring. You shouldn't be checking your fucking follower list. And, like, who gives a fuck? Um, I'm, not, I'm not a big believer in that at all, in the slightest. But I think when you're Drake, in this, in this instance, this battle with Kendrick, this battle with Kendrick, if anything, what I actually like about Kendrick is that he stood on business about how much he hates Drake as a person, what he represents, who he is, his background, his upbringing, everything. He laid it out on all the tracks he put out there. He was very consistent about why he hates Drake. These other guys, for the most part, who kind of jumped on and, and, and became part of the 20v1, there really wasn't an issue from what we can be able to see. Most of it, if you're reading between the lines, might be because of some girl. But again, I think losing out on friendships with other men because of some random girl is an L for both parties involved. But the rest of them, it seemed like most of them were just really jealous that Drake is the number one guy. That's it. They're just really jealous that he's the number one guy and they want to be the number one guy. And it's almost like, bro, why is that the main concern? When, on, when from the outside looking in, it looks like Drake is very hospitable. It looks like he doesn't mind sharing hit records. It looks like he loves to put people on and shit. He's not even like what you would deem to be like, I don't know, most number one people in that level would probably be very most, very selective about who they work with. Drake doesn't mind working with SoundCloud artists, working with big artists, whatever. If something works and it rocks, he kind of run jumps on there with you. And allegedly, I, think, I forgot who I heard this from, but allegedly how it works with Drake is if he jumps on like, let's say a Blockboy JB song and he, he allegedly... Gives the, he allegedly does the song for free, but what he would do is that he will claim 100% of the of the, of the the streaming revenue and shit. So if you want to make money on that song, you have to go out and perform it, which I think is a good deal. Yes, you probably could cut you a little bit more in it, but I think him jumping on a song is doing you a bit of charity, but then you could also go perform it in, you know, all around the country and obviously um, secure the bag that way. So I think that's a pretty good approach that he's doing when it comes to that sort of thing, right? He's helping people out. But for some people, it's not enough. Or maybe they want more. Who knows? This is a definite line in the sand and a definite you can't come back on this side anymore. And the funny thing is, Kendrick also isn't going to be the one that's going to be opening the doors for these guys either. I very much doubt a lot of these artists will be featured on the next Kendrick album. That's the funny thing. So all these people that jumped in and tried to like say, yeah, we're with Kendrick. He's not like us. He's not like us. He's not going to be doing what Drake was doing for them. He already moves the beat of his own drum. He hasn't even dropped an album. You know what I mean? Like, all of this attention and shit, all these fans get happy for music and we still don't have an album. No new music apart from the disc records that we already got from him. So, I don't know. I really do enjoy... I really do like this. I think this is really good and it kind of puts a line in the sand and allows us to sort of like, I don't know, semi-move on going forward. Um, the Playboy Carti um, unfollow is a little bit upsetting, I'm not going to lie, because obviously I'm a big Playboy Carti fan and I think a lot of it has to do with just him linking up with The Weeknd. The fact that he linked up with The Weeknd um this track called timeless um the fact that i think if i'm not mistaken i think cash uh, one of the people involved in exo is playboy carty's manager i think i swear to god I, I remember reading somewhere that i think cash xo is playboy carty's managers now so he's definitely part of xo now extended family and um the way playboy carty moves he definitely does pick sides in these sort of battles anyway so by default he's picked a side by linking up with the weekend because we know the weekend and drake don't get along um and then we've also got here we've got lebron james which i'm happy to see as well because he was very very um what's it called he was very reactionary in his fucking flipping of sides then he tried to do beg a lot about drake like dancing very enthusiastically i think at some one event i think he spoke about i think he tagged drake on one instagram post it's like bro we're not friends anymore man let's just leave it there at one point we were very close but now you've picked a side with kendrick you stay over there which is funny too because you know kendrick, he ain't gonna get those pre-basketball 
you know, match fucking warm up records from Kendrick. He gets them from Drake. You know, those fucking locked in, motivational, hustle hard in the gym records. You don't get them from Kendrick, you get them from Drake. So now you cut off the entire line because if it was me and Drake unfollowed me, I find it really hard to listen to his music in the gym. I'm not gonna lie. So, you know, he has, he has, to, he has to only blame himself for that regard. Um, then you got Damari Rosen, again, an, another one who was flipping sides and thought he could still be cool, going to interviews and saying, nah, me and Drake are cool, we're fine. It's like, no, nah, you're not, bro. You appeared in a video where this guy was calling me a pedophile. It's out. It's over for you. Water turned off. And then, of course, we got Joe Budden. Joe Budden, I'm sure, will be happy about it um, because Joe Budden's been... I think Joe Budden's involvement in the beef has been really icky. I'm not going to lie. Like, he's tried very hard and very consistently and very purposely to involve himself in this when it has nothing to do with him. He was very quick and very happy to see the quote-unquote downfall of Drake. He's up he, like he doesn't. I mean, he doesn't want to see him winning anymore. He wants to see him coming crashing down. Maybe because Joe's career came crashing down, and he had to kind of, you know, um, sort of like pivot into podcasting. Maybe he sees that, or maybe to cut him some slack. Maybe Joe Budden thinks if Drake comes crashing down, that will inevitably lead to him making better music. Maybe he's of that thinking. You know how some artists, you know how some fans, some stands out there actually are like, oh, they can't wait for so-and-so to go through a breakup because they're going to put out some fire music. Maybe Joe's the same way with Drake. I don't think so, but maybe he is. But for the most part, I think he's way, he's been way too mean-spirited, especially for somebody who hasn't been involved in the beef. He's been way too, whatever, weird with the stuff he's been putting out there. He might be the one that actually started off the whole like pedophile sort of thing with Drake. He was basically insinuating that Drake was messing around with too many young girls. I think this was also around the time when it was rumoured that Drake was maybe dating um, Lato's sister. I forgot her name. I think her name might be like, is it a name Brooklyn or Romeo or something? I don't know. I forgot her name of it, what her name is. Um, but she's a girl that everybody kind of is like into at the moment. And um, everyone was rumoured, it was rumoured that he was dating her. And I think she might be younger than Lato. Maybe she's like in her early 20s or maybe late teens. And it's like, bruh. Anyone else can say that apart from Joe Budden. Joe Budden's been known to be the guy, you know, messing with super young girls while he was older. If anything, this girl he's with at the moment, this woman, sorry, is the first, like, woman of age that J Joe Budden's been with. So for him to point fingers and call other people weird for dating younger girls when that's all he does. And also, if I'm not mistaken, Joe Budden loves a strip club. He spends all of his evenings in there. That's a very, like, young man, old, creepy, weird thing to do anyway. And most of the women you'd imagine that work in strip clubs, I would imagine, are probably fairly younger than Joe Biden anyway. So it was very um, hypocritical of him to say what he said. But he, I think, is the one that started that pedophile thing. And then, of course, you know, Kendrick ran with it and absolutely destroyed Drake on that side of things. But I'm glad to see Drake unfollowing these bums and putting a line to the sign and saying, you know what, this is what it is. Because a lot of these guys, especially people like Rick Ross and stuff and whatever it may be, like, you know, a lot of their hit records that they had with Drake, they're never going to see that success again on their own. So they really did weirdly pick us and it, and the funny like i said it's, it's it's like a lot of these guys didn't even have a reason to like hate the guy that's a funny thing which might make it a lot more understandable which might make it a lot more maybe respectful in a way where they just hate the guy purely because of his success that might be a little bit more refreshing than having this like weird fake beef of like oh no you said this one bar about this person no it's just straight up like no you're just too successful you make all the money it's unfair i want some of it so that's why i hate you i think that's actually quite honorable in a way Sounds weird to say it, but I honestly think there's something quite honourable about being like, you know what? You just make too much money, bro. You make too much money. I want some of it. So now, um, you know, I'm siding with Kendrick for that very reason. So big up Drake for unfollowing these bums. Can't wait to see what these guys produce now that they're on their own and the water's been turned off vis-a-vis -vis Drake. It's going to be very difficult for a lot of these guys to keep their lights on without him. I can't wait. I fucking can't wait.